Hi, it's Nell, and I'm glad you've joined me at my work table today, surrounded by sense of areas and pots, which lead you to believe that I am going to do a transplanting job. Actually, I'm going to do three, and I call this the sense of area switcheroo. Now, I dug this out of my garden in Santa Barbara. It's in a, in a, in a grow pot. The soil is literally down to here. So this is going to go into this pot and then let me see, it's going to sit inside this decorative pot here. And then this one I'm going to take out of the clay pot and it's going to be directly planted into this one that I spray painted yellow because I want a few accents of yellow in my living room. And then I'm going to do this as a separate video because it's a little more of an arrangement. I just don't want this to be too long. I'm going to plant the Trifasciata with the two uh, Sansevieria moonshines into here. So I will immediately get rid of these three and get going on these two. why I wanted to do this video is sometimes sense of areas will just do do this here for, for whatever reason the leaf will just bend over all the way that one's not bent over quite all the way <laughs> but what happened to this one that I successfully propagated is it did it, it bent and it was just like falling out all the way there and I find that sometimes the end ones just do that it's not anything wrong with the plant it is just the nature of the beast so you can just heal it off and propagate it it does work it is the end of the day and it's really hot but I want to get these um projects done before the real heat strikes. So this Laurenti is just looking a little pale to me. It's been in this pot a while. I just want to give it a new home. And boy, I can tell this is going to be a job. But I'll start by using the old knife. I just take a dull, a dull knife and I nothing too sharp because I do want to save this pot I don't have a lot of odds and ends of pots and I like to have them just in case I want to propagate something or who knows I'm always potting, potting something up so in case I need a pot I will have this and I kind of like this funky old terracotta pot Ugh. but boy this is a uh, going to be happy to get a new home, and you don't have to rush to transplant sense of areas. They actually do better when they're pot bound, but this one is really tight. I can tell. So, but I think it's going to come out pretty easily after I get this all done. So, hey, okay. not nearly as much of a struggle as I thought. I'll see if I can just lift it up. <laughs> There we go. Ah, love it when that happens. And the mix I'm going to use is about three quarters potting soil and about a quarter succulent and cactus mix. I want to use that just because it's going to be directly planted in here. So I, I want to make sure the drainage is really, really good because you don't want to keep sense of areas too wet at all. They, they don't like it. They rot out really, really fast. So you want to make sure whatever mix you use drains really fast. And then of course I will put some little bit of compost in there. Not too much. I don't put as much compost into my interior plants as I do the exterior plants. And some worm compost. And hopefully all that will help this plant to grow more because I can tell it really, really wants to. They're just wrapping right around there and it'll uh, hopefully um, 
just make the color not so bleached out. Deepen it up a little bit and bring out those wonderful yellow stripes that this plant has. There, you can see those really thicky. Thick, thicky. <laughs> this is about the third video I've filmed on a hot afternoon. Thick rhizomes uh, with the roots growing off of them. And that's why you don't want to overwater because the rhizomes and also also the leaves store water too. And the roots, even though they're not nearly as thick, they store some water too. Okay. Oops. I had the plant spill a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to need to clean the pot up. But this is going to tell me how much I need to put in. So here's the uh, here's where the plant's going to go right to there right to about there so then I have to fill it up to about here with soil I'm just gonna etch a line right there but because there's a little bit of spray paint in there I can just a little bit now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about an inch of compost in here and just mix a little bit of it and I will mix some more as I go along too. There we go. Okay, so we'll see how close I came. What I'm gonna do is just loosen it up. The roots are pretty easy to, lo to loosen up. Uh, yeah, you know, there we go. Let's see. Let's put it in like, which one do we want to be the front? I've got a, I've got a couple of pots down here, so I'm tripping and falling all over everything. Oops, nope. I need to raise it up by about a couple of inches. Okay, so I have the mix all in. The pot is a little dirty, as you can see, but I'm going to wipe that down. And this is a whole leaf that just went just like that, and I've done a whole video about propagating a sense of area from a whole leaf rather than just dividing it or cutting the leaf into into sections and as you can see it works and there's actually new growth coming out there so now i just have to decide where i'm going to put it i think we're going to put it right over here because there's some room back here so i was waiting to i was waiting to finish up that video because uh I wanted to put that this little leaf in here and I'm gonna leave the stake in for just a little bit because this mix is is it is loose so there we go there are, there you can go back and join your mother plant aren't you happy great beautiful okay so now it's time to top it with a little worm compost okay phew hot seat back of my head is all sweating <laughs> oh well so I got the trifasciata out of the pot because I wanted its grow pot and now it's time to get this one out this one I don't think I even need to I think I can just do this kind of thing here because there's not that much soil in it and you're gonna say Nell you're a bad plant mama but here it is yes you will be a whole bunch happier I'm just going to shake off some of this because this is really not good soil at all. And it's, it's going to get that same mix. It's going to get that mix of potting soil, mainly with a little bit of succulent mix and some, um, and some compost too. Okay, so same thing with this one. I have it raised up to the height I want it, but now I just have to go in and fill around the sides and get it to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. So I got the pots all cleaned up. My grimy fingerprints and all the mix that uh, spilled over is off. I'm going to put these um, just on my patio table overnight to let them just kind of settle in. It's early evening now, so uh, I will give them a good drink tomorrow or the next day and then bring them in the house. But I love this bright yellow color just because I love yellow. 
and I also think that it brings out the you know the variegation in the snake plants too. So stay tuned because I have the Sansevieria trifasciata and moonshine video coming up very soon. I've done quite a few um, videos on snake plants and blog posts too. I will link a couple of them down below and as usual there is a blog post that goes along with this video. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. My Sansevierias are going to be happy as can be and when you transplant yours, yours will be also. I thank you so much for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get out of the garden or out of the garden. <laughs> let's get into the garden whether it be outside or inside and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I think I need to go have a sw have a swim. I'm hot and dirty. <laughs> anyway, ooh, that didn't sound that, that didn't sound right. I mean, I'm sort of a hot mess or something like that. I'm just covered in dirt. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.